Why would Dave Chappell bring Elon Musk on stage? He bought me a jetpack I believe were Dave's words. So we will all talk about it on Monday. Rich people gonna rich. To be controversial. He's obviously supportive of him. Honestly, I think Chapel is starting to fall into that area of humor where he just likes doing stuff that he knows annoys people rather than trying to actually be funny. Because he has no new material. Look at everything he has done. It's all the same shtick. At this point he's a hack at best. The real answer is because the rich stick out for each other. Elon's getting rough PR so coming out on stage with a comedian liked by his people was supposed to help with that. Elon's got a tight five that he's ready to share with all of us. Get ready to laugh. It was a part of a deal made between them earlier where David would legally own the first comedy club on Mars. Class solidarity. Because people keep giving it attention. Jesus Christ how hard is it for everyone to just delete Twitter and ignore this dude. He's a rich freak who has had his brain liquefied by his millions. The Dave you remember isn't rich Dave Chappell. This version of Dave Chappell would hang out with Elon, whereas Peak Chappell would have made fun of him for an hour. This version of Chappell makes fun of the regular people who paid to see him. Attention is currency. Ye ol' emerald clown is the biggest attention whore out there right now. He very clearly said, he bought me a jetpack so boo these nuts. People mentioning money, which is a big part of it. Dave Chappell, while hilarious, doesn't seem to understand how free speech works. If he makes jokes about Asian people and the Asian community stops supporting him, then he needs to move on, not complain about cancel culture. Elon is also playing victim when people react to what he says and he has a very big microphone. Because you are rich, powerful, or popular doesn't obligate people to like you and in fact it is their free speech to call you a transphobe, or a racist especially when you are being one. Musk is dying to be a cool kid and no one will let him in. Same reason why Elon was in Big Bang Theory. People die for a touch with fame or infamous anybody with any type of notoriety is revered like a god in our stupid culture. Money bag money with wings banknote with dollar sign euro money mouth face money bag money with wings banknote with dollar sign euro money mouth face. They are in this ridiculous club that thinks they're saving the world from the woke mob and defending free speech. What they really are is just a bunch of rich fucks who think they have all the answers, but really it's just that their wealth affords them a bigger platform to toss their ideas from. Because the wealthy have class solidarity. IDK rich unfunny guy thought it would be funny to bring another rich unfunny guy. Surprised he didn't have a tantrum and walk off the stage Hartford, Connecticut checking in. Rich assholes tend to flock together. Would we be talking about his show if he hadn't? Dave is a man-child long past his best years. Dave Chappell isn't the brightest. Because Elon Musk is a joke. Ego plus dollar 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 dollar. Because Dave Chappell is a comedian, and Elon Musk is a joke. Assholes flock together. Because they both hate trans people and think it's a really popular viewpoint. He thought people would clap and laugh at how brave he was to bring Elon on stage, because why wouldn't you like Elon if you weren't some kind of liberal left-wing nut? He found out that people thought he was a privileged chucklefuck instead of a brave comedian. I like the old half-baked Dave Chappell. Desperate for attention. Bad press is good press for the likes of these types. Dick ain't gonna suck itself. The richest man on earth can afford to buy the most expensive I have a black friend card in the world. Editor Word. Dave Chappell has been a conservative the entire time. People forget because he made fun of racists. But if you followed his jokes even back then, he was anti-abortion made relentless fun of vilifying the homeless, and wasn't particularly kind to gay people or women in his comedy either. Cringe loves cringe. 
because if people focused on the quality of his jokes they'd notice that modern Dave is a sad sack of shit compared to Chapel Show Dave. I would have the audience vote to let him stay or leave. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. George Carlin. Because Dave Chapel is basically Kanye with more self-control. I'm not saying the guy likes Nazis, but he definitely likes the Republican Party. He's just smart enough to be cool about it. He probably supports Elon but lately Dave talks like he's at a TED talk trying to be more of a public speaker, while using comedy to get a crowd. Most of the topics he brings up are cultural and political issues rather than comedy. I enjoyed his first couple of specials for his return but now he's just beating a dead horse. Pretty sure Dave has realized he gets put more on the spotlight when he talks about this type of thing. The audience he's gathered keeps reinforcing him to keep it going. Because he hangs with neo-Nazi lol. He literally was deafening Elon calling the crows poor fuck him. Because they are in the same rich pedo club. Because Chapel has gotten to the level of famous and rich that he has lost all sense of the real world. Even now him and Musk don't know what happened. They just think it's the cheap seats trash people jealous of their money. Short on material. Elon should have started pointing at people and saying, and you get a free Tesla, 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 PSY bitch. Because Kanye was getting too much of the attention. Elon's whole images is based on selling himself as a genius who fights for all mankind. He is losing so much prestige right now it's literally killing him. He's reached a point where he's so famous he's out of touch. He meets Elon, a man he idolizes for being rich, believes every word he says, promises to bring him on his show, and is caught off guard by the reception and blames the booze on poor people. When a comedian reaches a level of fame that causes them to lose touch, they can't talk about social issues. It's the whole money doesn't matter rich people line. The moment he started going after trans people, then doubled down after that controversy, should have made it clear that he was a lost cause. Because that's how you buy your way into the aristocracy in America, by kissing the ass of the guy with more money than you. Watching Dave and Joe Rogan fawn over him lately has been an eye-opener. Because Dave has jumped the shark and is now one of them. R.I.P. Dave, you were funny as fuck. Time to get off the stage. Simple. The rich stick together, and they would eat you alive. You aren't in their social club. I got downvoted in another thread but it's because everyone is an ass kisser and no matter how much money you have it's never enough. Because Dave feeds off controversy. It keeps people talking about him. Why does a dog lick his balls? Because he can winking face. Chapel loves controversy. Elon loves attention. Wouldn't surprise me if Musk paid Chapel for the privilege. I would be booing too if I paid to see Chapel do a comedy show and had to listen to a rich entitles racist narcissist asshole get on stage, so he could stroke his already gargantuan ego. Why wouldn't Dave Chapel bring Elon Musk on stage? That's the real question right there. Cause he's a rich idiot jerking off a richer idiot. I thought Chapel was at least anti-racist. So it's weird to me that he wanted the guy whose wealth stems from apartheid dual minds up on stage. Guess he hates trans people more. They're both old out of touch weirdos who think they're the only ones that say what they think. Publicity stunt. Why not? Because he likes him? Why wouldn't he? I believe it started after Musk went on SNL. He actually did pretty well and he joked on Twitter afterwards that he was going to become an entertainer. That led to Chapel responding that he could do stand-up at his shows. For whatever reason, Musk just didn't perform. The problem is, that you'll care this much. Live your lives, this shit does not matter one bit. I'm starting to think he may be out of touch and or into the whole getting off on upsetting people thing. Because they are both self aggrandizing assholes. Here's a fun fact that makes people uncomfortable a lot of us don't hate Musk like the rest of Reddit does. 